Hello, now we are going to look at the equations of circles that are centered at the origin. So we're going to look at the idea of a circle and the idea of the origin. So the origin is our point zero zero at the center of our x, y axis. So the origin is the point zero zero, that point there in our graph. And a circle is a object that has the same distance from a particular point, in this case, zero, zero. So the distance from our origin, from the center point of our circle, out to our circle is the same all the way around the circle. And from our coordinates here, from our axis here, I should say, we can see that that distance has to be five. So we're out five units. We're starting at zero, going out to five here. We're starting at zero, going out to five here, and so on at the axis crossing. And we can see that that would also be true for a point where we're crossing the grid lines of our page. So if we go in the door three and up the stairs four, we can see if we draw in the radius of our circle at that point, and I'm going to fill this in a little bit, I can see from my coordinates and from drawing in my radius that I have a right angle triangle and it has sides of four and three. And if I calculated the hypotenuse of that right angle triangle, I'd find out that its hypotenuse was five by using Pythagoras. So I would be able to say I'd have the hypotenuse squared or the radius squared would be equal to three squared plus four squared. That's our Pythagoras. So the hypotenuse squared would be equal to our three squared plus our four squared. We get hypotenuse squared would be equal to 9 plus 16 would be hypotenuse squared is 25. And we take the square root of both sides in order to find that our hypotenuse was 5. And we know the hypotenuse of this triangle is the radius of our circle. So we can see that any point we like, that was an easy one to calculate, but any point on our circle is going to have the same distance from the origin, from 0, 0, out to our circle. That's what makes it a circle, that the distance is always the same. So from Pythagoras, we end up with the equation of a circle, because we have our x and our y, our 3 and our 4 in this case, and x squared plus y squared always ends up being the hypotenuse squared. It always ends up being the radius squared. That's where our circle equation at the origin comes from. It's just Pythagoras. So our x and our y are our coordinates on the circle, and or, little or, is the radius. So we want to find the equation of a circle that's centered at 0, 0, with a radius of 2. So we can put into practice what we've learned here. And we know that the equation of a circle centered at the origin should look like x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, the same radius for all of our points. Well, we're told that the radius is 2. So we write down the equation of our circle centered at the origin. We write down the, that the radius is 2. And then we just sub in x squared plus y squared should be equal to 2 squared. And we would sub in everything in brackets. We get x squared plus y squared is equal to 4. And now we can have a look here. We have find the radius of x squared plus y squared is equal to 20. Well, this is this looks like the equation of a circle centered at the origin. So I know that that means that x squared plus y squared should be equal to r squared. And I'm looking for or the radius. That tells me that r squared should be equal to 20. So I take my square root of both sides in order to find the radius as opposed to the radius squared. And I can break this up or I can put it into my calculator. This is the same as the square root of 4 by 5, which is the square root of 4 times the square root of 5, which is 2 root 5. So radius of that circle would be 2 root 5. And I want to find the radius of this circle as well, but I can see that this is not looking quite right. I have, I should have x squared plus y squared is equal to some number squared. I should have the radius squared. Here I have 
four times that on my left hand side. I want to have just x squared plus y squared is equal to number. This is a common way that we can get caught out with our circle equations. We know that it should look like x squared plus y squared and they can mess that around for us. So what we're going to do is just divide out the common factor of our x squared and y squared and we must make the right hand side smaller by the same amount. This is just rearranging equations so that we have it in the form we know we should x squared plus y squared for a circle. That doesn't simplify, so we just have x squared plus y squared is equal to 25 all over 4, and we know that that should be equal to or squared. So or squared is equal to 25 all over 4. We take the square root as before, and in this case, that simplifies down. When we put that into our calculator, we're going to find that that's 5 all over 2. So our radius for that circle would be 5 all over 2. Now, we want to find the equation of a circle centered at the origin, so at 0, 0, uh, if 1, 3 is on the circle. So I have a bunch of information, I'm told. I have a circle centered at the origin, so ooh, my center is at uh, 0, 0, and I'm told that the point 1, 3 is on that circle. So in the door 1, up the stairs 3, that point there, 1, 3, is on the circle. So I want to know the equation of my circle. So I'm going to write down x squared plus y squared is equal to or squared. That's what the equation of the circle centered at the origin looks like. And I know uh, the only piece of information I'm missing is or. Well, or is the distance from the origin, from my center, out to our circle. So I want to know this distance between two points, between 0, 0 and 1, 3. So I know a formula for finding the distance between two points. So I go to my log tables and I write it down. So the distance between two points is going to be square root of x2 minus x1 to be squared plus y2 minus y1 to be squared. And now I'm going to write down my x1 and y1 and my x2 and y2. So I'm going to say that uh, my point 1, 3 that I'm told about in the question is going to be my first point and my 0, 0, my center of my circle, the distance I'm finding is from the uh, 0, 0 out to my 1, 3. That's going to be my x2, y2. And it doesn't make a difference which one of these uh, you pick as being x1, y1 and the other being x2, y2. The order of that does not matter so long as we have x and then y for each one of our coordinates. So our distance is the radius we are looking for. So the radius is going to be the square root of x2 is 0, put everything in in brackets, minus x1 is 1. Sub everything in, being careful to use brackets all of the time so we don't make any sign mistakes in more complicated questions. Minus 3 to be squared. And when we tidy all of that up, we find that that ends up being minus 1 squared plus minus 3 to be squared, which gives us 1 plus 9. We put that into our calculator. It just ends up as root 10. So the radius of our circle is what we just found, and that was the only piece of information that we were missing. So now we can write down x squared plus y squared should be equal to root 10 to be squared, and the root 10 squared, the square root of 10 squared is just going to give us 10. So x squared plus y squared is going to be equal to 10. And that is how we can find the equations of circles that are centered at the origin. And that is what we need for now.